I'm going to recap my hunt a little bit for you guys. Um, yesterday I was able to get on a stag. We spotted him about 9.30 and after climbing and climbing and climbing over about 5,000 feet up amazing terrain and bowling hills, uh, we finally were able to get about 200 yards from him. At that point I had to belly crawl <laughs> through the bushes with the rifle in order to get close enough to get a shot. I had an amazing guide named Carl who was his first experience as well <clears throat> with, a, with a stag. So to have us both be together was tremendous for us. Um, finally got him up out of the bed and he started to feed a little bit. And that's when I decided to get up and try to take the shot. I had to kind of brace myself against a rock because there was no way to get down low enough because of the bush. Um, <clears throat> finally <clears throat> felt comfortable enough to take the shot and as soon as I did, boom, he went down without effort and it was so incredibly uh, amazing and also very relieving to see him drop. Right. 
so I just took down my first New Zealand stag. It looks like an absolute monster. I'm so incredibly excited that I can't even stop shaking. Once in a lifetime opportunity and it's laying down right there. I can't believe I made that shot with a rifle like that. I mean, that was a hard shot against that rock with barely, with barely any uh, warning. And with the wind, but man, he dropped, he went down real fast. That was a good shot, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm so happy for so you. freaking excited. <laughs> Gosh, I want to see him. <laughs> Done, son. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, let's look at him. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at him. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at that. Oh my gosh. This has been amazing. A lot of hard work to get this guy, but I am so glad he's on the ground. <laughs> and he's very symmetrical, which is awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen points. Only Look at him. Six hours. Only took us six <laughs> hours of hiking around and <laughs> oh well, I can't believe it. I'd say he's worth every <sighs> He's beautiful. He's beautiful. He's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Very nice. It's like bean. Oh, he's so nice. So nice. Wow, I know he's a big guy. Carl, I can't thank you enough. Great shot. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ah, yep. That is well deserved. Do you have room for him in your house? Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, I'll make room somehow. <laughs> a huge, huge animal. I don't think you really understand they're how big they are until you're sitting on top of one. <laughs> so here I am in New Zealand. I still can't even believe it. Second day of hunting. Uh, we saw this guy uh, earlier in the, in the day and we've been stocking up on him for, oh man, a good five to six hours. Finally got as close to him as we possibly could, about 165 yards, and uh, waited for him. He was bedded down uh, for a little over a half an hour. Finally got up, and when he did, I took the shot, and I cannot even tell you how excited I am. I mean, this is amazing. So a big thank you to High Peak Outfitters. It is an amazing, amazing place with amazing property, amazing people. I had an awesome guide, Carl. He did really good at showing us the ropes here. And honestly, my biggest thank you goes to Joe Barrio with Worldwide Adventures for setting this up for us. Wouldn't be here without him, so thank you, Joe. You're amazing.